Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is, of course, your regular dose, guys, of royal news and analysis. This one is going to be the big one, guys. It's spicy hot and ready to go. So, what do we have on today? It's a scorcher. It's a deep dive into the royal family that's got everyone's knickers in a twist. That's right, we're talking about the PR maniacs themselves, Harry and Meghan. And now, they are screaming in despair over something like this. Absolutely crazy. They're screaming in despair over a family photo. I know it sounds ridiculous, guys, but trust me, this is juicier than a well-done royal scandal, guys. It's going to be absolutely crazy so let's get right into it so what's actually happening here guys well most people looked at the photo in early 2020 that was blissfully unaware of the chaos that was about to unfold and Buckingham Palace dropped a photo bomb that's got more symbolism than a Dan Brown novel we've got the late Queen Elizabeth looking regal as ever standing alongside the next three generations of monarchs Charles William and little Prince George it's a powerful image folks a really powerful image it's saying this is the future of the monarchy whether you like it or not now, most people looked at the photo and thought, oh, how sweet, but not our dynamic duo of drama, Harry and Meghan. Oh, no, they took one look at this family portrait and apparently had a full-blown meltdown here, guys, according to royal expert Andrew Morton. This photo was a wake-up call for the Sussexes, a wake-up call to what you ask. Well, buckle up, because this is where it gets really good, guys. Apparently, Harry and Meg saw this photo and thought, the entire institution is conspiring against us. I mean, talk about paranoia. It's a family photo, not the Illuminati's secret handshake. But in this warped reality show that is the Sussex saga, everything is a sign. A slight, a sinister plot to undermine their greatness. But let's break it down for a second. Harry and Meghan, the self-proclaimed victims of the evil monarchy, saw a photo of the direct line of succession and somehow made it about them. It's like going to someone else's birthday party and crying because you're not blowing out the candles. The level of self-absorption is truly astounding, but wait guys, it gets absolutely better. According to Morton, this photo confirmed the fears that they were low down the royal totem pole. Well, newsflash, Harry and Meghan, that's how the monarchy works. It's not a popularity contest. It's not America's next top royal. It's kind of a century-old institution based on lineage. Did they honestly think Harry, the spare to the spare, was going to leapfrog his way to the throne because he married an actress? Come on, guys. And let's talk about that for a hot second. Meghan, the Hollywood princess who thought she could waltz in the oldest monarchy in the world and revolutionize it overnight. Honey, the royal family has survived wars, scandals, and literal revolutions. They're not going to change their entire structure because you decide you want to modernize things. This isn't suits. You can't just rewrite the scripts when you don't like your part. But guys, here's the kicker. Morton claims that Harry and Meghan had been plotting their grand exit for months before this photo even dropped. Apparently, Harry was having secret meetings with Oprah way back in November 2018, just six months after the talk about some commitment issues, guys. Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely crazy how they're getting away with all of this, guys. It is so crazy and don't even get me started on their plan to balance their time between the uk and north america it's absolutely shocking so let's talk about uh that for a hot second shall we megan the hollywood princess of course uh, she's not forget about the irony of course the queen had given them the keys to the first class lounge making harry the youth ambassador to william and catherine they had the whole world as their playground, but apparently it wasn't enough. They wanted the throne too. Talk about biting the hands that feed you. Their statements about stepping back as senior roles is a masterclass in PR spin. After many months of reflection and internal discussions, they said, more like after many months of secret Oprah meetings and sulking over family photos, they talked about becoming financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. Well, we all know how that turned out, don't we? They've been about as supportive of the Queen as a wet paper bag, throwing the entire family under the bus at every opportunity. Don't even get me started on all sorts of other things as well, guys. They had the love of the public. They had the support. 
the absolute support of everyone behind them. And now, after all the tell-all interviews and Oprah bombshells and Netflix documentaries, what do they have to show for it? They're no longer royals, no longer part of the family, and frankly, they are no longer relevant. Oh yes, no longer relevant, guys. They've burned so many bridges, they could start their own fire department. The sad truth is that Harry and Meg are learning the hard way. The actions certainly do have some big, big old consequences. They thought they could have their cake and eat it, keep the perks of royalty without any responsibility. But that's not how the real world works, folks. You can't trash your family on international television and then expect to be welcomed back with big open arms. So, what's the moral of this story here, guys? Well, if you ask me, you've got to be careful what you wish for. Harry and Meg wanted out at the Royal Fishbowl and now they've got their wish, but instead of finding the freedom they claim to crave, they seem more trapped than ever. Trapped by their own bitterness, their own victimhood narrative, the desperate need to stay relevant in a world that is essentially quickly moving on very, very fast. And to all my viewers out there, let this be a lesson. Appreciate what you have. Don't throw away real relationships for the sake of fleeting fame. And for heaven's sake, if someone takes a family photo without you, don't assume it's an international conspiracy. And as for Harry and Meghan, well, I've got some free advice for you. Move on, let it go, stop trying to rewrite history and focus on your future. Because right now, you're not revolutionaries, you're not victims, you're not even particularly interesting. You're just two people who made a choice and now can't seem to live with the consequences. Remember, folks, the grass certainly isn't always greener on the other side. Sometimes it's just astroturf, and that's something that the Duchess of Deception and her hapless husband, the harebrained Prince Harry, all but no, so, so well. What on earth do you think about this royal news and analysis, guys? This is incredible. We want to hear from you. So if you could, please leave us a comment uh, down below. It would be a massive, massive honor to read what you have to say and get back to you as soon as possible. The heart of the community is what drives this channel. And if you want more content like this steaming hot royal news, then do not worry at all, guys. Don't worry one bit. I'll be back soon with some more ow, scalding, hot, piping hot, epic royal tea. But, of course, before closing in, guys, you know the epic drill. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to help us pump up those big numbers and share the video to spread the word the video a like smash the like button and also turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop some new royal news and analysis it really helps us out here at the channel so we really appreciate that guys help us spread the word and lastly i just want to say a huge thank you for listening right until the end and for your enormous love and support so well that brings us to the end of the video so until next time guys we will of course see you very very soon for some more in-depth royal news and analysis goodbye for now from me have a great day bye bye